Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of The Drop. My gosh, is America about to make the most stupid decision in its history by electing Donald Trump as president? Well, that would be the view taken by many. This man could be the leader of the supposed free world in a few months' time. What gets me is how the man can spout so much hate and yet still be so popular. He was once the laughable outsider with no hope of making the final two of the Republicans, and now he's the nominee. Here in the UK, all we seem to see is the US at war with him. Innocent black lives being lost, police officers being shot, and all this has spread on a backdrop of hate preached by the Donald. At the convention this week, he now wants to make America safe again. I'm sure there are some valid policies in there from Trump. In fact, his tax ideas actually make some sense and would certainly help the lower paid. But make no mistake, the billionaire's campaign is built on hate, division, segregation and scaremongering. A bit like the EU Leave campaign, and that seemed to work. There have been some funny moments so far at the convention. Host and comedian Stephen Colbert stormed the stage as Caesar from The Hunger Games in a muck address. He has formed an alliance with Indiana Governor Mike Pence. Sorry, I blacked out there for a moment. So it is my honor to hereby launch and begin the 2016 Republican National Hungry for Power Games! Look, look, I know I'm not supposed to be up here, but let's be honest, neither is Donald Trump. Come and of course, Trump's wife Melania's speech, pretty much the same address given by Michelle Obama, the current first wife, eight years ago. Just brilliant. My parents impressed on me the values that you work hard for what you want in life. And Barack and I were raised with so many of the same values. Like, you work hard for what you want in life. Because we want our children in this nation to know. And because we want our children and all children in this nation to know that, that the only limit to your achievements is the strength of your dreams and your willingness to work for them. Because we want our children and all children in this nation to know that the only limit to the height of your achievements is the reach of your dreams and your willingness to work hard for them. Uncanny there. Plus, we've had babes for Trump, and now we've got nudes for Trump. More than 100 women stripped and posed naked with mirrors in Cleveland, answering photographer Spencer Tunick's call to blend art with politics and portray Donald Trump as unfit for the White House. The picture will be unveiled shortly before the November 8th election. Now, would Trump make a decent president? We want to know. Let us know in the comments down there. Next, if you're looking for a way to cause controversy, this could be it. A swimwear event has allowed kids to parade on the catwalk in bikinis. In a fashion collection by brand Hot As Hell in Miami, primary school children have walked down the catwalk in an array of different bikinis and swimming costumes. One internet user remarked that using kids in fashion shows is child abuse. And to be fair, it sort of is. Many worry it leaves the kids at risk from online predators. Far too young and far too wrong. Heroin of the week goes to Mimi Black. This top girl from Glasgow snapchatted and tweeted her way through a date with herself after being stood up by some fella. Why? Just why would you do that to Mimi? The pictures shared by Mimi show her eating a McDonald's wrap, drinking a sundae, uh, perusing a sale at Ann Summers, and enjoying a sex on the beach cocktail, and finally smiling from bed. Round of applause, I reckon, there for Mimi. And lastly, we've seen and witnessed the car crash that is Top Gear on the BBC. Now the original hosts, Clarkson, Hammond and May, have released a first look at their alternative version, the Grand Tour. It's out soon on Amazon Prime. Take a look. I've considered all of the things you might be wearing, and it has to be a purple thong. How much of your day have you spent thinking so, about that? No, 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 so just worry. that I've really been half an I hour. I feel sullen. I haven't thought about it. Well, if you're buying them from Marks and Spencer, where else would you buy pants? Buy buying, buying trousers. Would you, where would you? Well, okay, so if you've ever on gone out specific underpants or something, you accumulate. They sort of you get them when you're getting well, other from stuff. From Marks and Spencer? No, I, I've never got up in the morning. Just, right, I'm going to go buy some underpants. So where do they come from? The pants fair. No, pants picks you might be in a. You might be buying a shirt, and maybe they sell pants as well. Who sells pants? Have a pair of pants. Well, the shirts, your clothes shop. Sure. Sure. The shops don't sell. Pants. They do. They don't. They well, might. But they, they don't, don't though. They, they would. No. no. Your no, pants are bought by someone else. The you, purple you, thongs. Well, you're, no, there's something else that you're missing. Right? What? Well, you haven't considered. Well, you're not wearing any at all. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to see that. We've waited far too long. That's it for this week's show. Let me know what you make of Donald Trump below, and please like and share this video. Until next time, we'll see you soon. We are.
are good to go. Do you want to be the co-partner, Drew? Just start like this. Yeah, go on, go on. The drop. Yeah. <laughs> There we are. Like, oh yeah, Westwood dropping bombs. Right, cool, right. Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of The Drop. My gosh, is America about to get them? First off, stupid. 